today we will learn how to create valid CS server client and certificates using OpenSSL. So coming on to the first slide, that is creating CA certificate. It is a two-step process. In first step, we create CA private key. And in second step, we create actual CA certificate. And we will be using OpenSSL for doing this thing. So OpenSSL command to generate private key is OpenSSL generate RSA key. And then we also define the size of the key, which is 4096 bits. And output of this command would be a private RSA key, which is 4096 bit long, and it will be available in ca.key file. Then in second step, we will be creating CA certificate using OpenSSL request command. Request is primarily used for creating certificate signing requests, but it can also be used for creating root CA self-signed certificates. For this, we use extension dash x509. So we are requesting for a self-signed certificate, which should be valid for 1826 days. And its private key is available in ca.key file. And its output should be ca.pem. And it should use this OpenSSL configuration file. Or if we will not specify this part, then it will use the default OpenSSL configuration file. The important thing to ensure is that in case of default configuration file, that we have defined or we have ticked basic constraint as critical and it has been marked as CA uh, column 2, that this certificate will be used as a CA certificate. Then another important thing is that key usage is defined. It should definitely have key certificate signing that it will be used for signing the certificate, CRL signing or whatever we want to do with this certificate. So moving on to the second step, that is how to create a server certificate. So in case of server certificate, it is a three step process. In first step, similar to the previous one, we will be creating the server private key and we will be using OpenSSL generate RSA 4096 dash out server key command. So it will create a server key, which is RSA key and it is 4096 bit long and it is available in server.key file. The second step would be we will be creating a CSR, a certificate signing request for the server. And we will be using the command OpenSSL request new. And the key which we have created in step one will be used here, dash key, which is server key. And what would be output? It will be server.csr. And if we want to use our own configuration file, then we can specify here. If we will not specify this one, then it will use the OpenSSL default configuration file. While we are executing this command, it will be asking us some information, which is called distinguish name, like our country, our province, and finally, most important, our common name. So same information will be asked from us while creating CA certificate also. But yeah, we will see this thing in our demonstration. So once we have created private key for server, we have created CSR for server, the final step is to get this server uh, signing request or certificate signing request signed from the CA, which was created in step one. So the command for that is OpenSSL X509. It is a multiple purpose command. And one of the purposes is to get the certificate signed from the CA. So we will be using SHA-256 and we are want it to be valid for 365 days. Input is server CSR, which we have created in second step. And then it will be signed by the CA, which we have created in our first step. So that is the certificate of CA, that is the key of CA. And CA will also add a serial number to it. And output would be our server certificate. So we can define and use our own configuration file. And we are telling it to use the subsection V3 request. Or we can just use the default configuration file. The important thing is that we have defined the basic constraint that in case of server certificate, it should be false. In case of CS certificate, it was true. Then key usage, then extended key usage, subject alter name, we need to fill them depending upon our requirement. And subject alter name could be DNS, IP, email, etc. And extended key usage is important. In case of server, it would be server authentication. And in case of client, it would be client authentication. Now coming on to the third type of certificate that is creating client certificate. Again, it is a three-step process. In first step, we will be creating the private key, open SSL, generate RSA, out client key for 096 bit long. Then we will be creating CSR, exactly same as server, 
open sl request view key is the one which we have created here out is client csr and we will be either using default configuration or the configuration which we have defined ourselves and finally we will get this client certificate signed from the ca which we created in step number real uh, one so open ssl x509 we'll be using sha256 this certificate will be valid for 365 days input will be client cs csr and we will be using our own root ca which we created in very initial step one so ca.pem and ca key and then output will is client certificate and either we can use our own configuration file or we can use the default important thing as i have already mentioned it should have basic constraints ca false key usage extended keys you it must be client and record depending on our requirement we will define dns ip email etc okay let's go to the demonstration okay first of all let's try to log in let's see okay so these are the same commands which we'll be using to create different thing so first of all we will be creating the key private key for the ca so i already have all the configuration files with me or i can use the default file so the first step is to create ca key so like we can see that it has created the ca key now so second step would be to create the ca certificate itself so as i have mentioned that it will be asking the distinguished name from us it will consist of common name and other thing so it is asking about the country new zealand state micro locality for example hamilton company name for example the first sale organization unit name is test so common is important so our common name would be root c so we have created a ca certificate so we can see you now we have ca certificate and our key available to us so next step is to create the server certificate So again just like previous step it will create a server key for us next would be creating a csr for our server certificate so again it will be asking the distinguished name information from us country state locality organization name uh, organization unit depending on whatever is the information common this is important it will be over dns or domain name of server so finally we will get it signed from our ca so now we have created a csr so we will get it signed from our ca using the cert and key created in step one. so it has signed so if you'll see so we know we have ca key ca pem and now we have server pem and server go so in the same manner we can also view the contents of these so if we want to view the content of server pem so in the same manner we can also create the client certificate the important thing to keep in mind if we want to use these certificates then we have to import this cs certificate into if we want to use this client certificate into our browser so i hope everyone has understood Thank you.